Greetings subscribers and other curious persons and Una the Cat. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. And this week's topic is what are non-readers missing? Well, I'm going to start by defining non-readers as people who don't read when it isn't essential. Uh, so what are people who don't choose to read missing out on? Uh, well, firstly and most obviously, anything that's only available in written format. So books that haven't been made into films or programs, instructions that aren't available as a YouTube video, skills that aren't taught by one-to-one -one tuition and so forth. But apart from that, I don't know if they are missing out on anything per se. And that they're, they're gaining a different experience of life. Right? The book and the film of the same story are almost always notably different. But are they missing out by watching the film and not reading the book? Or are they just experiencing a different life in the same way that I'm not missing out by not being in Tennessee at the moment? In that I don't know exactly what's going on in Tennessee at this moment. I'm not perceiving it. Even if I get a news feed, I'm not feeling it in the same visceral way as someone who is there. But am I might missing out? Potentially not. So what is the difference between experiencing something via reading and experiencing something via another medium? But the conversion process probably is the only thing I can think of that's different in that books, you read it, your mind converts the written words into sensations in your head. So if you gain the same information from another medium, you're potentially missing out on the ability to put your own spin on it. A character in a film, you know what they look like. A character in a book, they can look a little bit like that cute barrister or barista or whatever you happen to think is cute and aren't tied in to having to look like Tom Hardy or whatever. So I think what people who don't read by choice are missing out on is that conversion artifact, the way in which reading something converts into a mixture of what the author created and what your brain has previously experienced in a way that films don't. But similarly, you get a similar effect with music. So if you listen to music, you will get images in your head that are half what the composer attempted to create and half what your experiences cause you to do in reaction to a string of sounds. So I don't think readers are missing out in the sense that it's a special different thing not reading so much as experiencing a different tranche of reality. So I suppose in the style of all good politicians, I'll reject the premise of the question. Toodaloo.